Today you're going to be printing an onion with coffee. So make a really thick coffee paste, paint it on your onion and you want to get rid of the excess. So print it a couple of times, get rid of it. Then you should be able to successfully print and be able to see the lines of the onion through the coffee. So make this into a repeat pattern by printing it several times on one sheet of paper. Once it's dry, you can use some watercolour paint if you've got it, or if not, make a colour um, from ingredients in your kitchen, like we did last lesson. And you, I want you to fill in the white gaps on your printed onions. So do this really, really carefully, as the coffee will bleed. I've chosen to choose um, two colours, red and yellow as I feel these will help with my repeat pattern and they're quite natural looking. I think if we went for a blue or um, purple or something like that it wouldn't look so natural. So fill in all of those white gaps. Remember please that you're to paint to the shape of the onion. only fill in the white gaps. If you want to do this with colouring pencil that's fine too. Whatever materials you have available at home. Now it is dry I'm going to take a black fine liner pen and outline all of the onion lines. Okay, so you can do this by using a continuous line, or you can take your pen off the page, overlap your lines, Make sure you get in as much detail as possible. So retrace over lines you've already gone over. Kind of fill in the gaps where the coffee is. Turn the paper if you need to, so it's easier for your hand to move around the page and draw, and you won't smudge any wet paint. If you don't have a fine liner, a black biro will do, or even a brown fine liner might look quite nice. Once you've finished this, it would be really nice to photograph your final piece and to manipulate the colours in an app like Pixlr or the Paint app and then you can produce even for